The Whalers Cove Explorer is checking out the area just off of the parking lot, and we're first met up with some feather boa kelp, one of our giant kelps, capable of growing to about 50 feet tall. It tends to grow in the shallower areas when compared to the bull kelp and the giant brown kelp. Now we're getting glimpses of the blue rockfish. Oh, there we have it. And a lone senorita hanging out with them. Now in the shallow area, we get a chance to see the ground cover of the kelp forest. We'll see the coralline algaes and the pinks, and then the red seaweeds as well, making up a lot of the ground cover. Now let's take our Whaler's Cove Explorer out a little deeper. Here we see the giant kelp growing tall, vertical until it hits the surface of the water, and then horizontal, so it can soak up as much of the sun rays as possible. You'll notice there's some senoritas swimming around in a loose school, as they tend to do. These daytime fish take respite in the night at the bottom of the ocean, where they burrow themselves in backwards into the sand, with just their face sticking out. Swimming along these senoritas are some blue rockfish. These blue rockfish are plankton eaters, with the juveniles eating copepods and barnacle larvae, while the adults snack on tunicates and jellies, even young rockfish, as well as drifting kelp fragments. Let's just take a moment to Check out this scene. And thanks again for checking out the kelp life here at Point Lobos.